up, Amelia here. Thanks for joining us for another news break. A telescope in space. A sheep in need of a haircut. And a robot that loves noodles. But wait, 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 before we get to all that, you know what I'm going to say, subscribe. Now, NASA's James Webb Telescope, which is floating around up in space and can see into the past, has just taken its first fully focused image. And scientists around the world are super excited. And so are we. Did I mention it can see into the past? What? When the first images came down, we were in the Mission Control Center and it was a very emotional moment. Yes, scientists are super excited about this picture of a star. What? No. Wrong picture of a star. This star. This snap was taken by NASA's fancy new James Webb telescope, which was sent to space and lives about 1.5 million kilometres from Earth. James here uses infrared light and will be able to see further into the universe than any telescope that's ever existed. The really cool thing about looking really far into the universe is that it's a bit like looking into the past. A telescope is really a time machine. The telescope will investigate stars that are so far away, their light has taken 13 billion years to reach us. A lot of stars don't live that long. So what we'll actually be seeing is a snapshot of the past and the light from the stars that died a long time ago. The exciting thing is this shot isn't the best the telescope has to offer. It's only a test pick to make sure everything's working. Scientists are hoping this telescope will help us see some of the very first stars that formed after the Big Bang, which might help us unlock some of the secrets of our universe. Heartwarming blues, sad bunnies and Ben Stiller. Apparently this is what's going on in sport at the moment. Hmm, I'm sure Joe can clear it up for us. Uh, I'm not talking about the music genre, by the way. I'm talking about the footy team. Carlton got their season off to a flying start last night with a big win over the Tigers. But the real highlight of the night was Sam Doherty's comeback from cancer. Yeah, it's huge. It's, um, you're representing a, a large cohort of people that are going through a tough time. And honestly, I didn't think I'd be here, to be honest. But um, hard work paid off. Now over to those sad bunnies. That would be the Rabbitohs in the NRL. Last night, their game against Melbourne Storm went right down to the wire. The Storm, well, stormed ahead in the first half. And despite the bunnies launching a pretty courageous comeback, this field goal from the Storm in the dying minutes was enough for Melbourne to hold on for a one-point win. And this, of course, is where Ben Stiller comes into things. But we have to start with Aussie tennis star Nick Kyrgios first. He went up against Rafael Nadal in California's Indian Wells quarterfinals this morning and put up quite a fight. Oh, what a get that was! But things took a turn when Kyrgios ended up losing his cool at the umpire and Ben Stiller. Why tell him how to act? No. Yep, the Hollywood actor's entourage apparently were stirring up Nick and getting a bit lippy. In the end, Kyrgios finished the match with a loss. Sometimes you just need to take a step back, chill out and let go. That's the moral of these next stories. Really liked that mug. Meet Alex. He's a sheep with 40 kilos of fleece. Whoa! But poor Alex was found wandering around regional Victoria and really struggling. Thankfully, some friendly shearers came to the rescue, bringing Alex in and helping him to let go of his very heavy coat. Check out this super rare Star Wars poster. It was created to promote the very first Star Wars movie, Episode 4, A New Hope, back in 1977. Here they come. May the Force be with you in Star Wars. Its owner decided to let it go to auction. The bid's starting at around $18, but it's expected to fetch up to $12,000. And noodle sorters, beware. You might have to let your job go soon, if that is a job. Either way, these noodle sorting automated robots in Japan are unbeatable. They can pick up up to 500 grams of noodles, chopped veg and fried chicken. Well, that's all the news to check. Oh, hang on, over here. A bit more, a bit more. 
There it is. Well, that's all the news for today. But don't you worry, we'll be back with more for you next week. Catch you then. Bye. Oh. Huh. Don't forget to subscribe. Right, skeleton. Yes.